Hey, what's up guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel and Apple continues to support older devices with new software updates, bug fixes, improvements, security patches, and so much more. And this is always good to see. Today is a big example of that. Apple today releasing iOS 12.5.1 for all iPhones and iPads capable of running iOS 12, but are not capable of updating to 13 or 14. So that's always a great thing. And of course, in this video, we're gonna go over everything that's new with the latest 12.5.1. Now going over to general software updates or about here, we see that the latest software update comes in build number 16H22. Now this software did not go through any beta testing. Of course, this one was just quickly released to everyone worldwide as of right now. Again, so if you have an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 12, one of these older iPhones, then you can now update and add these improvements that I'm going to share with you guys right now. Now, back in December, Apple released iOS 12.5 to add the exposure notification supports alongside iOS 14.3, bringing support for older devices. And uh, this time around, according to Apple's release note, Apple has uh, fixed an issue with these exposure notifications. So right there it is, the new exposure notifications which were added with 12.5. 12.5.1 now brings improvements to this feature. Now, there was an issue that Apple is directly mentioning in the release notes that today Apple is addressing a bug that could cause exposure notifications to incorrectly display logging profile languages. And that is one of the bugs that Apple is uh, addressing particularly directly in this software. So if you're running iOS 12 on your iPhone or older iPad, this is a new improvement that Apple brought to the iPhones in order for you to get correctly information on those exposure notifications. And again, this is a minor software update, but yet Apple continues to support these older devices which is good. If there's any other bugs that Apple feels like that need to be patched, like Bluetooth issues that we encountered before, vulnerabilities, Apple continues to support these older iPhones, as well as the, you may remember, the issue with FaceTime. So that issue was also resolved as well uh, with iOS 12.5 before 12.5.1. So it's also a good thing that we see Apple not only supporting these older devices, but also fixing and adding features as well as improvements to the security of those devices. So don't feel left out. Yes, iOS 12 is an older software, but you can rest assured that all the security patches are in place and anything that's really important, Apple is definitely adding to these older iPhones. Again, today you can update the 12.5.1 on any iPhone or iPad that supports the software. And that's pretty much everything. This was a quick video, Apple releasing this software today. Stay tuned here to the channel for more updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.